Hello, fellow traders, to I, the Rumpled One. It's Sunday, December 23rd, the year 2018. Let's talk trading, a weekly opening gap. If you detect a chuckle in my voice, it's because I uh, was just looking at some email, and I got one of those things from that guy, Bob Pierce. Uh, has this thing, I think it's Fight First or something, and it was like this multi-tool Oh, I'm going to send it to you for free. So, of course, I had to click and look. Oh, yeah, it's $9.95 shipping and handling. So, you know, it's some piece of junk probably from China um, that would break upon first use. But anyway, <laughs> weekly opening gap. Okay, we've got Christmas in a couple of days, Christmas Eve tomorrow. So, uh, you might want to be extra careful. You don't want to risk any of your Christmas money if you haven't finished shopping or you know if you're going to need some of that money to to pay off all those christmas expenses okay looking at the monthly we can see the euro yens pulled 49 pips off the bottom but let's take a look at the weekly it was a huge gap down huge and you can see here we bounced 49 pips off that low we're 40 pips above the open, and we filled that gap. Now, there's still some gaps that haven't been filled, uh, the dollar yen being one, so you might want to keep an eye on that this week. Once again, it is Christmas week, so um, you might want to keep that in mind as you trade. Um, notice here i do have the inside bar on the week uh last time uh last week the euro pound had an inside bar the pound franc and the pound dollar all inside bars for the week so you might look for an explosive breakout there dropping down to the daily you see here we open below the wick zone and we shot up into it and out of it and on the range we've only got 50 pips at the moment but pretty strong move pretty strong move and here looking at the buy zone you see where the pivot point is you see this big gap down so we had a long bias and even though it entered the short zone with that long bias that gap and the pivot there's no way there's just no way to go short. You just have to take that buy trigger here. And right now it's paying off handsomely. Rat zone, we've got a 50 pip range. So, but we're not looking for any rat uh, zone trades at the moment. We'll see what happens here and we'll pick it up tomorrow. Okay, there's the pivot. It hasn't been closed. So you see here we've got a new open pivot, but price seems to be heading that way. Oh, look at this three ball. Green at the line. And you can see lots of buying, lots of buying just since I opened up. once again green at the line go long this isn't rocket science here i've uh had some comments that a lot of people um i guess they like what i'm doing they like the simplicity it seems to make sense to them so i appreciate the kind words um one thing though it's kind of interesting you know reality check is i i mean i don't really have that many subscribers like on my youtube channel or that many members of my facebook group so you know you guys are uh, kind of an elite group um i guess you know people don't want to be they just don't want to believe that trading can be as simple as just trading across these horizontal lines i mean this is just simply yesterday's high or the previous sessions high open mid close and low they want to have something more i guess um complex because how can trading be so simple i mean really it's just not a compelling story it's not a 
dramatic demonstration. I mean, to come here, you know, day after day, week after week, and tell you about gap fills and tell you about these horizontal line crosses, uh, you know, popping out of the wick zone. I guess it's just, just not dramatic. It's just not eye catching. I guess those squigglies, you know, putting a, some squiggly lines, you know, across the chart and some squiggly lines at the bottom and having all these rules for entry. I mean, I guess that's why those guys have thousands of subscribers. I mean, and, and people will shell out lots of money. I mean, all the seminars and webinars that that are out there, everybody purporting to have it. But if you'll notice something from those guys, they're coming up with new systems almost every week. A, a new robot, a new this, a new that. Me, I'm pretty much grinding it out the same way, analyzing horizontal lines the same way, highs and lows, you know, midpoints, opens and closes, um, and, and, you know, coming up with, with stats. But I guess maybe um, it's just not compelling. And I'm not really worried about it because I never got into this to uh, have, you know, thousands or millions of subscribers. Um, that really wasn't my goal per se. My goal was to uh, put all those guys, other guys out of business selling all that crappy software. Um, you know, that that's, you know, that's why I do what I do. I, you know, I mean, like with the HL5 indicator, I, I put so much stuff into that and you guys can download that for free. Don't have to send a donation or anything. And you can use that and make money off that. And you don't even have to thank me. <laughs> So, I, I just wish it would get be more popular and get spread out there, um, so people and traders could really start to see just how simple trading is and how you can profit from it. Now, don't expect to get rich quick. No, trading is something that's going to take you a while. You're going to have to, you know, find what works for you. You know, you can try these methods, what works for you, get your money management down, and then slowly build up. Because if you think you're going to take a $1,000 account to a million dollar account, you know, overnight, yeah, it could be done. It's possible. But, you know, don't quit, quit your day job if that's what you think is going to happen. Make the million dollars and then quit your day job. Okay, Wix Zone. You can see here. We started outside the wick zone, we entered the wick zone, we came back out, entered it again, and now we're going to the upside. Uh, the whole low, uh, right here, we had that lowest open, you know, price came, went down about 10 pips, made a low, touched that whole low zone, and now it's moved up and away. Okay, the... Inventory retracement bar you see right here on H1. We had a long trigger right there. Up 10 pips off that long trigger. And there was a there's been a couple of short triggers that have been put in, but they have not been hit. Once again, see that weekly previous week's low. Boom. And there's strong buying, lots of buying. And you can see right here on the uh, tick chart what price is doing. It's pushing up, getting above the valley of the ask. Einstein line, you can see here. This last couple are definitely, you know, few pips here, a few pips there, it all adds up. It's funny, uh, a trader sent me some of my words back, and it's funny reading something that I, I don't even remember how long ago it was, but it was about, you know, what happens to traders is you'll get in a trade, and you might be up, say, two pips. And then you take those two pips, and then you see price zoom up, you know, for another 10 or 20. And you get all ticked off, right? Then you come back, you get your trigger again, and you're up two pips. This time, 
you know, you don't take those two pips and then the next thing you know, boom, you're stop loss. You, maybe you stop out at 10 pips and then you're all bummed out. Whereas before, if you had taken the two pips, you'd be up four pips rather than down eight. So, you know, the, the, the trader, I guess it hit home with that one particular trader and he, he understood. So, you know, you set your plan, you set your TP, your take profit, you set your stop loss, and then you just let the market do its thing. And don't beat yourself up when price rockets after you close. Trust me, I've had that happen so many times, I just laugh at it. Um, but one thing I've learned is, is that rather than put all your eggs into one order, meaning let's say you're trading a full lot, well, how about trading two half lots and you take the profit on half the lo half the lot and then you let the other one ride, move your stop up to break even or break even plus one and then see what happens. Now, the thing on the break even plus one, you know, that's another one where sometimes you can, if you move that stop up too soon, that's when you'll get stopped out and you'll see price um, taking off. So usually you I'll do that when I'm going to have to walk away from the computer or like I'm going to go to sleep. It's like, you know what, let's see if that sucker runs, but at least I don't want to lose anything. You know, some people maybe put a 10 pip trailer in there or something, but you know, if you see the um, frequency distribution of the range, you know that the range is going to be more than 10 pips. So, you know, one red candle, it'll, t it'll hit your stop. So you might as well just take your money off the table. Then chance it that way. Um, inside bars, once again, you see what happened with the monthly, and there's the weekly. Um, let's see, let's we can put up the weekly right here. Now, okay, that was the monthly. We had an inside bar in the previous month. Weekly was five bars ago, and you saw what happened when price blew out of that. And for the monthly, you can see here that inside bar once again blew out of that. So this is something that I've been working with. Um, you know, the uh, and once again, this is an indicator TRO inside bar plot. I updated it, put it out there. Once again, it's free. You don't have to send me a donation for that. Um, and you might be able to use it. These are ones where once you know where these inside bars are, you know where to set your entries. So right now with the euro being outside, but if I remember correctly, yeah, right here, the pound dollar, look at that, right across the board. So right here, you can set your buy here and your, your uh, short, your sell short level right there. And you can see here we got the weekly and monthly. And if it hits there, you might want to add on and add on again. But actually, this is the monthly inside bar low. So that being said, if uh, if price gets above here and starts to come back, this might be a t an opportunity to short. Okay, so if you get up here, I'd move my stop up to here, and then if it breaks it, then think about going short, but looking at right here, once again, it could oscillate, vacillate between the two, so you, you might want to sit and watch that trade. But the, the main trade here is a 126.96 trigger long and a 126.17 trigger short for the inside bar daily. Of course, you can play a wick zone short here. So there's many ways to trade it. And here we go. Once again, looking here, we had the, um, let me put this back to uh, Euro Yen. And as you can see here, there was the first day of the month and what happened there. And here's the first day of the week and we'll see what happens later on. So fellow traders, Happy holidays. Have a really safe and enjoyable holiday. And just remember, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So if you trade this week, remember to drain the banks.